welcome to Flannel Acres. I'm Sherry and I wanted to show you this poncho that I crocheted a few years ago. Um, it's actually my own pattern, something that I made up and believe me, it was not easy. I actually started this and got halfway through a couple times at least and had to take the entire thing apart because the sizing wasn't right or something just wasn't working. Um, so I tried to find the pattern that I wrote down and I could not find it. So we'll kind of look at this a little bit closer and I'll give you kind of a general idea of what I did here. And hopefully if you want to try this as well, this will be enough of a pattern or enough of a guide that you can at least get started. Um, and don't be afraid to pull it out and start all over again if you have to. Uh, part of making up your own patterns and tweaking patterns is just trying things and seeing what works. Let's go take a look. Okay, so here is the poncho. Um, to get started, I don't really remember what size hook I used. Let me get out a tape measure here and see if we can get a good idea of the gauge though. I'm gonna flip this inside out so I can see the stitches better. All right, so this is all single crochet in here. And let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, about 12 inches will give you 4 inches wide this way. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8 or 9 rows will give you 4 inches this way. So hopefully that's helpful um, if you do a gauge first and try out um, a couple different hooks to make sure you're getting the right size. That should do it there. Um, as far as yarn, I just use an off-white worsted weight yarn, um, so nothing special or fancy or fuzzy or anything like that. When I started this, I started at the top, so the neck hole, right up here. This lace part, this edging, came last. So I actually started right here and went in this direction. After I was all finished, I went back and just added this lace onto here separately and that made it pretty easy to do that way okay hopefully from this angle you can see that it's kind of divided into sections here this was done in the round so i didn't stop or start or have to stitch anything together um, but it does kind of look like sections because of where i increased my stitches so around the top of the neck hole i counted about 90 stitches to start that top neck hole up in here so I would say on row two then, after you did the um, 90 stitches, you would do 20 single crochet and then single crochet two in the next stitch and repeat that pattern until you come all the way around. If the stitches don't come out right, just adjust them and redo if you have to. Every row I increased at these corners. So every um, so the next row would be like uh, single crochet 22 stitches and then single crochet two in the next stitch and so kind of increase each row that you do so every time you make it all the way around you're going to add stitches to your row so kind of keep track of where you're at it, it's helpful to write that down as well you can see i did some lines i don't know what else you call them some spaces here in the rows so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten or eleven rows between each of these decorative rows that I did. And then the decorative row, I would double crochet and then skip the next stitch and chain stitch one and double crochet in the next stitch. So you can see these are longer, those are double crochet, and then skipping that stitch and uh, chain stitching one stitch will give us that gap. Now I like that just for um, an interesting look, but I also thought it'd be nice to weave in and out of here, maybe a ribbon or you know, something to give it a little bit of color, maybe something seasonal or, or whatever's going with the outfit. So, And when I got to the end, see, I like to look up <laughs> different trims and laces and whatnot online. Um, it's just fun to look at you know, the creativeness of what people come up with with these. So that's kind of what I did with this one. Let me turn it this way. So the first row, so you can see my last row of single crochet there. And then the next row, it looks like what I did was I single crocheted in each of the next, you know, first three stitches. And then I chain stitched, I can't really see how many, um, 
one, two, three, I skipped three stitches. So I probably chain stitched three stitches and then single crochet in the next three stitches. And I did that all the way around. And then the next row, what looks like I did was um, I single crocheted in that single middle section be in all these, uh, these three stitches here. I hope this is making sense. And then I did a double crochet. I did one, two, three, four, five double crochets in that space. And then I did a single crochet in the next middle stitch of that set of three right there. And then just continued that all the way around. The next row after that, it looks like I single crocheted in that space between the scallops. So I single crocheted there and just did chain stitching. And then I repeated, looks like similar to what I did that first row. But you can find all kinds of uh, trim and lace patterns online. Just find one that you like and try it out and see how it works. And there you have it, kind of the top to the bottom. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to know more about getting started with crochet, check the links down below in the description. Also, if you have ideas or suggestions, questions, anything, leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Catch you later. Bye.